Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I just know something bad is going to happen. Hey, day 10 and no takeout, but I can't say that today. I under ate yesterday, hardcore, and my body and my mind felt it. And when I under eat, I, I don't know what happens, but I don't, I don't know how to say no. To feel like you're out of your body, kind of watching someone else control it, where you literally feel like you cannot control yourself and you just you know i ended up ordering takeout i did i ordered mcdonald's i did um i okay well i'll just have like one cheat meal a week you know it'll be every saturday but by doing that it like puts the food addiction feeling back in me but i also know this is a lifestyle change i never gave myself like an exact you know number of how long i want to go without takeout nothing like that so but then it's like i relapse and then i go on a path for like a week sometimes a month so it's like why even have a cheat meal if i know it's just gonna derail me completely that's literally that's literally it i didn't fail anything there was nothing to fail because we have to eat to survive but, but i definitely did want to come on here and be like yay day 10 but it's the first day where i ate during my fasting i had takeout but the minute i get something in my mouth that i'm like addicted to it's over i didn't get a soda so i'm still on day 10 no soda it happened and I woke up and I was like, damn, I feel it in my body. I gained some weight. I oh God, last night, you guys, I binged so bad that I was stuffing my face and I felt literally sick to my stomach. I was so full. And you know what I did? I kept eating. I kept eating and I couldn't stop. I did. I, I gained a pound and I said, damn, but... <sighs> Like I said, lifestyle change. And I have to learn how to wake up and continue towards success instead of wake up and repeat the same situation that I did the night before. Like, obviously, I, I regret it. With these videos, I just want to be kind of like transparent and talk more about my journey uh, in depth and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, it happened. And now I'm just going to move forward. 15 minutes later. So this was my trash. I could I could eat like a 20 piece nugget from McDonald's and a large fry in like two two seconds. I ended up getting a McFlurry. I um I had a fry and some cheeseburgers. Transparency. So we're gonna throw away the trash together. I just I feel better not eating takeout for sure. You know. Do you see what Do I you see, see? What I see. Yes, 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 yes. Now it's in the trash. And I'm able to move on. Guess what I did? I finished my story night. She's a stunner. This is like one of my most favorite Legos I've ever done. God, there's like major 3D effect here. Like visually, stunning.
Oh, c'est incroyable, hein. Hein T'entends ça, chérie Bah oui, c'est fou. Hello, hello. I am actually sitting at my desk. I have not sat here in forever because I've been standing at it instead. I want to show you guys something super funny. I want to show you how I get to my desk to get to my chair. <laughs> I do this. And then I'll put the desk down. I figured I would come on here because I am just getting so many people like having conspiracies around every last thing that I say. But I think with something as serious as my weight loss surgery, I definitely want to show receipts. This is something that is like, can't be faked. I could completely get sued for faking something like this. The weight loss clinic knows about my YouTube channel. They have seen my videos. There's actually a couple people who literally work there or have worked there who know about me. Me talking about my weight loss journey and everything around it from the very beginning, everything has been completely true. There is no lying in this video, no exaggerating. This is my true story. You guys know that I change my mind fast. <laughs> I am in and out of diets quicker than most people are in and out of their underwear. The fact that I wanted weight loss surgery for six months is actually a big victory in my opinion and the fact that I wanted weight loss surgery so bad that I paid for out of pocket for a lot of the tests because my insurance didn't cover it um, therapy out of pocket I have spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars trying to get weight loss surgery because I do have the money to do it but I feel like at the size that I am they won't be able to do weight loss surgery so I knew because it's truly what I wanted and the minute I realized I'm not ready, this isn't something I want right now, I'm not ready to go under anesthesia and have a large chunk of my stomach taken out. I'm not ready for that. Um, weight loss surgery is the hard way. It's the hard way to go. You're literally getting your insides tampered with. And the minute I knew that, I kind of got scared. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I still wanted to complete my therapy because that's important to me. Like I'm still seeing the same therapist. I'm not gonna stop seeing him. Thoroughly love. <laughs> like I need, I, I need therapy. And my dietitian, we, we correspond a lot through email. So I felt safe. I felt safe enough to tell her. So I'm gonna show you the email I sent her and then I'm gonna show you the email she replied back with. Surgery is off. Fake, 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 fake. So many people still believe that either A, I was denied, which I wasn't, or B, that the weight loss surgery storyline was falsified, that it wasn't even real. And that's not true. Getting weight loss surgery is a major decision. And the fact that I was having so many downs and I was so disconnected and I just did not want it anymore, I know that I'm not ready. And I have shared a good chunk of this uh, weight loss surgery journey with you guys. And it's just discouraging. It's so discouraging and it makes me want to put up a wall again and I you know even today with the whole McDonald's thing that's not something I want to share it's not something I want to share at all and feels like I don't know you you don't feel the same it feels like I've lost you floating into space all the things we've been through 